Okay, let's take a very quick look, a high level look at the browsing experience on the G1. The phone is actually set to be using Wi-Fi. I see the Wi-Fi just kicked in at the top. I have a little notification. It keeps flipping back and forth between Edge and Wi-Fi, which is really odd to me because I'm five feet away from my router and other devices within plain sight are not losing the Wi-Fi connection. I'm not sure what the issue is here. So we'll have to see how this works out. But in any case, I've got the browser on the home screen and I'm just gonna tap it. It'll open up. And since I'm on Wi-Fi, I'm gonna refresh this page. And there it goes. It's our JK on the Run homepage, obviously. Um, I lost the network connection again. I don't know why. That's not good. In any case, it's loading over Edge now, so it's going to be slow. But you can see we've got our kinetic scrolling up, down, left, right. I think the screen sensitivity is, I don't know, it, it seems to need a heavier touch than what I'm used to, but it does work well. Works better when I'm holding the device, I noticed that. Um, we have a, when you, when you touch the screen, you'll get a plus or a minus down here. Hit that plus. Come on, plus, 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 plus. <laughs> and it will reflow the text after zooming it in. And if you press the little thing at the bottom right, it actually shows the whole page. And we've seen this before in other mobile browsers. And I can kind of go to any section and it will zoom in. And let's see, James just left a comment, so I'll tap that. Obviously, if you want to type URLs in, you're going to have to do this because there is no on-screen keyboard you have to use the hardware keyboard so yes I know we lost Wi-Fi again boy I don't understand this uh, but if you actually want to type a URL just hit that menu key and you have options to go to URL as well as search bookmarks window stop and more I'll go to the more for a second so you can see back forward home page history downloads downloads is nice Unfortunately, I was trying to download Flash to see if I can get that installed, but no such luck. Uh, so let's go back and go to URL. And then we can just type Web Worker Daily is where I wanted to go. And we're back on Wi-Fi, so it should load a little quicker, I hope. But there's not much that you haven't already seen in a mobile web browser, say in mobile Safari for the past year, year and a half. Um, I'd certainly say this is better than Pocket Internet Explorer. Uh, we can argue about S60's browser, but it's, uh, you know, comparable to, I'd say, the iPhone. just doesn't seem quite as, I don't want to say as snappy. I guess from a usability standpoint, um, not being able to pinch and drag, maybe that's just me being used to it but using the plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out seems kind of uh, of a chore to me but others will I'm sure will have no issue so let's go back to the menu and see what else we have bookmarks I haven't added any bookmarks search the windowing is nice here I've got a Google window I can go back hit window again Notice I have to go to the hardware keyboard of menu or uh, menu over here, the bottom left. So it's not something you can do on the screen, unfortunately. It does rely on that being a hardware button to get to the windowing. So you've got to touch window, I'm sorry, touch menu, touch window, and then you see your, your various windows. New window, I can just opens that up by default so window let's close close that this window will be closed so you're back and forth between the screen and the actual touch uh, the the hardware so there you go just a very quick look at the browser not bad could see some room for improvement but not bad more to follow thanks